Hey everyone, how are you? We are going to start another DIY and this is for the 4th of July. Now I got this idea from Pinterest and I will put the picture of it up right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Dollar Tree star and it's got the holder like you would get for balloons and I will cover this with some kind of material but I'm going to keep this intact obviously because it's a nice little holder what I am going to do because I cut out a star out of you know what yep cornflakes and I'm going to put it here but I don't want all of this showing and I don't care because I'm not going to decorate with this per se. So I'm just, I want the frame of it. Because there's other things you could do with it that would be really cute. But I'm not going to do it this year. Um, but I just want to cut down. Because like I said, even if I did use this, I would do something different to it. And I could do it next year. Because this is just going to be glued on on a couple of the points of the star. So I'm going to keep cutting until I get this down to where I want it and then I will be back. Okay, so I got all of what I wanted off of it, I think. So let's see if this now is able to be yeah, that's pretty good. A little bit more and then I'm going to glue well, then I'm going to get the paper that I want on here. And I think it's going to be this one. Okay. Because what we're going to do, let me move all this mylar away. I'll give that a little bit more of a haircut in a minute. I'm going to cover this. Okay. We're going to use that. And I kept going back and forth on a couple pieces of paper but I really think this one's going to be the best and then we're going to take our vintage yes I still love my vintage remember we cut made cutouts of these for many things and I have different pictures that I printed out from Google I'm going to cut all of these out around the person and then we're going to put them around here on this star okay aren't those pretty and I guarantee you you're not going to see this in a store and that's what I like I like to try to do things that you don't see because I get enough things that everyone has but I do like to put a spin on things whenever I can Let's go ahead and cut this out. Vintage is right up my alley. I love it because I love like English country decor, shabby chic decor, vintage decor. And this works perfectly for that. I love retro. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay. So here is the piece of scrapbook paper that I glued on to the cereal box. Made it really nice. And then I'm going to cover this, I think, with some toile. It's blue. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. 
That's going to be cute. I saw this on Pinterest. i got to get another cereal box. Okay, so what I have here is, you know, my chipboard. But I have a little piece here, and I think it might work just as well. So this one's already been backed. So now I have to cut out these guys. I'm just going to keep cutting, so I'm going to put this, I think, to some music. to show you each of these little cuties and then we're going to put them trace them and put them onto cardboard just like their brother here aren't those cute Oh, how did I forget her, the little sister? And then I'm just going to cut out, I'm just gonna cut, I think I'm gonna do it is to glue it down. Then you don't have to, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this down, okay? Then, then I'll cut around it. A lot easier. So now you have them glued down. All you have to do is take your scissors. And just cut around. And you can always ink 
around the edges with, uh, you know, stamp ink, archival or Tim Holtz, whatever. Okay, everything is cut out. I'm going to take off this mylar. And in it, all it is is a piece of cement that they use to keep this down. That is so cute. Oh, we need him for sure. Let's see. I think he would look better up here, way at the top. We'll put Betsy here, a little drummer. Where's that cutie? There's her sister. And their little dog. How cute. No, you know what? I think I'll do, because these are more the same size. And this one goes more this one that looks in the same era. So I'll put these somewhere else. Okay. So now it's just a matter of hot glowing. I'm just letting just the tips so you know it's a star. Actually, I think this one is a home, Better Homes and Garden from a magazine as well. I want her to be up a little bit. These are so cute. 
little sister. The little dog reminds me of the dog on, remember the rascals? I think I'll put him in the middle. And that's all you do. That's it. Now, I will bring you down to look at this. Well, I'm back and I've made some changes. I am not going to use the toile in this. Okay, I'm not going to wrap the bottom like it was with the uh, mylar. I'm going a completely different way. And I'm going to put it in this galvanized bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to try this anyway, and I'm going to take my scarf from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to fold it and fold it again and I'm going to come around and I'm going to tie it where the twine is. Okay, so I'm just going to double it, okay, and come in, because this real dark blue makes it pop, and with it being so full, you really don't even need a bow. You could tie a knot and it would still look good and, or just tie it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. This is completely taking a different turn to what I thought it was going to be. I mean, the way I was going to finish it. But that is the way I do things a lot. <laughs> I think it's going to go in one direction, and sometimes it goes in a completely different direction. Okay, and I'm just going to fluff all that out, and you'll see that. But now what I'm going to do, okay, I know you can't see it real well this way, but I'm going to bring it down, show you where I'm putting it, and it'll make more sense. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to take... I got all these. I got these at uh, Walmart, these particular blue ones, but they're that real deep, deep, like the plate that I'm doing, the Mackenzie Child uh, inspired. But I think I might want to leave that with the plate. So what I think I might do, and I don't know that I necessarily want all the red, white, and blue. I think what I might do is take these... Uh, carnations these take these blue carnations from the Dollar Tree and just put them into the pot because you don't want to um, overpower the pictures right but you still want some filler in this bucket okay so I think what I'm going to do with one of these, I'm just going to cut off the carnations. I like the way the dark blue is popping this red from the flag. So I'm going to cut all these off, and as soon as I get these cut off, I'll be back. Okay, so what I did is I took the bunch of carnations, and I just cut off each individual, okay? And then I had another bouquet, and I took off a couple of these that we're going to put in there as well. Okay, I have all my ribbon here, which I'm not using on this yet. I think that the scarf 
goes perfectly. So let me lay it down to give you a kind of an idea. Okay. So the scarf looks really pretty because you've got that navy blue and then against the red and white because the majority of the star is red and white except for the stars up in the left hand corner. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, you can see that okay. All right. I'm just going to come in to fill in this side because what I did is I put a little bit of foam on the bottom of the tin, didn't glue it in or anything because all of this is going to come apart and then uh, put some of the carnations in the back. Now we're just going to pop these in wherever I think it's needed. Now I don't want to cover up any of my little kids, especially this sweet little dog. This one right here. So I'm going to just lay it down in there just to give it some more color and some uh, contrast. Then I'm going to come in with these two, okay, and I'm going to bring it into the back because you can see some of the blue carnations in the back, and you'll see all this when I bring it down into wherever I'm putting it. But this is making a very, very cute little bouquet slash decor piece. So there it is. Okay. And like I said, this is big, so it's hard for me to show it all to you, but I am going to show you downstairs, So, and I'll bring down the camera so you can see it a lot closer. Guys, I hope that you like this. Get yourself a cereal box out. Go print out some vintage little prints, a bucket, or you can use a jar, whatever you want, and a scarf or ribbon. And you have an adorable little bouquet slash decor piece for your patriotic home. Okay, guys, so here it is. There's the scarf, and then here are the blue carnations with a little tiny bit of that white and red. But here's the kids. Now you can see the dog. Oh my gosh, you guys. How cute is this and I promise you you're not going to see something just exactly like this in a store again this was taken from a Pinterest inspiration but it was fast it was fun it can come apart to store easily and I hope you will try it until we get together again, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.